Hello and welcome back to another MC Championship video. The date for the final Canon MCC event of this year, which will be MCC 20, was announced last week. So let's talk about it as well as everything we know so far about the upcoming event. But before we spill the facts, a reminder that only a small percentage of the people who watch our videos are actually subscribed. So do me a favor and check if you're subscribed, especially if you're new around here, so you don't miss the latest MCC news from me. So for once, I didn't find out about this from the MC Championship Twitter account. This time at 5:30 p.m. GMT on Friday, the 19th of November 2022, the Knox Crew YouTube channel posted this video. The thumbnail on screen right now. It discusses the end of MCC Season 2 and what the future holds for the event and the MCC Island public server. Don't worry, I'll link the full video in the description so you can see it all. 90% of what was covered in that video we will be discussing shortly after MCC 28 on this channel, so make sure to find my videos on MCC Season 3 just a few weeks after we wrap up this year's events. So as expected, MCC 28 will be the final event of 2022 and of Season 2, which the video confirmed. What we definitely weren't expecting was for the video to, out of the blue, drop the date for this event at the very end of the video. Let me play the clip from the the last part of the video. Don't forget, there's still one event left, MCC 28, where we'll be celebrating everyone who took part in making this season amazing in festive fashion. And you can catch that on December 3rd, 2022 at 8 p.m. GMT. See you there. Almost immediately after this video was released, the MCC Twitter followed straight away with their own date announcement, which also had that video linked on it too. A very important announcement, we return to the decision time one last time for season two on December 3rd, 8 p.m. GMT. Only one part of this tweet, which we've already unpacked, this being the date announcement. I'll talk about the actual date of 3rd December in just a moment. For now, notice there is no rough time frame for team announcements in the tweet. We've gotten used to seeing such hints in these tweets, but like with MCC 26's date announcement, this information isn't included. There's also no highlight video recapping an epic moment from the last event, MCC 27 Underdogs. And for once, the Twitter announcement includes the start time and the time zone to go by, but this remains the same as always, which is 8pm Greenwich Mean Time GMT, not British Summer Time BST, because at the end of October, the UK moved all its clocks back by one hour to reach GMT, hence GMT is a completely different time zone to BST, which is inactive right now, but if you live outside the UK, you may still be affected by the recent change. Therefore, make sure to use a reliable time zone converter to find when MCC 28 begins in your local area. For anyone in the east of North America, it's definitely 3pm Eastern Time East. At the date announcement in the official MCC Discord also mentions on screen right now. It says, the last MCC of 2022 and season 2 has been announced. Join us for our festive finale 3rd December 8pm GMT slash 3pm ET. If that wasn't enough, Super Eloise, another Nog Screw admin, posted a similar announcement on the official MCC Island forums. It's also linked the video about the end of season 2, but the rest of the post reads, after 18 events, 4 new games and 1 whole island, we're closing MCC season 2 off and putting our efforts into making season 3 even better. This means a short break in the start of the year before we Return. We will be returning to a very wintry decision dome one last time for MCC 28. The event will be kicking off at 8pm GMT Saturday, December 3rd. By the way, the Discord announcement was followed up with a link to join the MCC 28 Discord event, a somewhat new feature which the server has used for some events in the past, such as MCC 23, but then mysteriously disappeared after that. Oh well, at least they're back. Basically, it allows you to display interest in something, and then that server will notify you when it starts. So if you think you're gonna somehow forget about December the 3rd, make sure you're in the MCC Discord server to join the Discord event. More info on how to join the server at the end of this video. Also, focusing on on the event date itself, it looks like there will be another three week gap between MCC 27 on November 12th and MCC 28 on December 3rd. We had this three week gap between MCC 26 and 27 which was expected, but in previous years the gaps between the November and December events would be four weeks. For example, in 2021 we had MCC All Stars on November 13th, then MCC 19 on December 11th. Not going to complain about the fact that we get this special edition MCC an entire week earlier than anticipated though, but it certainly was not expected. I really should say something about the teams. It's well established by now that whenever teams are announced, the first five will drop on one day and the the remaining five will drop the next consecutive day around the same time, and there's typically a 15 minute gap between each team's announcement. As I mentioned earlier, we were given zero indication of when they could roll out, but I can guarantee that they will drop at some point during the week beginning Monday the 21st of November, because revealing them on MCC week would be too close to the actual event. Normally there are three day pairs for team announcements, these being the Monday plus Tuesday, Thursday plus Friday, and Saturday plus Sunday pairs. But for both MCCs 26 and 27, we saw teams drop on the Thursday and Friday one and a half weeks before each event, due to delays in announcing each set of teams. It's likely that this trend will continue you. Therefore, expect teams to arrive on Thursday the 24th and Friday the 25th of November from 4.30pm GMT on both days after the pointless poll on Twitter at 4.15pm GMT. Remember that these are educated guesses and they could throw us off by introducing a different day pair instead, like Tuesday and Wednesday, which for team announcements has never happened in Season 2. This is just speculation, so there's a small chance that may be wrong. Noctis Mori, the same Nox crew admin who posted the Discord announcement we saw earlier, seemed unsure of the exact dates just yet when asking the Discord server, saying that, I don't know, I'm on holiday. Don't panic, it's Scott's Major who builds the actual teams. All Noctis 
Noctis does is create the super cool team display graphics that we see when they announce on Twitter, and it's a different admin who does the announcing itself on Twitter, which would be the social media woman, aka Sweep for Eloise. That practically covers the date and some decent guessing work about the teams. Now let's discuss everything we know so far about MCC 28. Besides being yet another numbered canon event where the winning team will receive exclusive in real life season 2 winners coins if they haven't won before the season, it is, as mentioned earlier, the final MCC of 2022 and of season 2. Oh, and it's got the festive holiday decorations based around the Christmas celebrations in December, so naturally, as you'd expect, there's a lot to talk about, so let's dive right in. Firstly, we do know for sure that the team mascots will change this month. You should know the regular team mascots, the Red Rabbits, the Orange Ostots, etc., but as we've seen in the previous two Christmas events of MCC 13 and 19, they all change. Here's the names of all the new temporary mascots that we saw in MCC 19, which are all likely to stay the same for this year too. The Red Reindeer, the Gingerbread Men, the Yellow Yetis, the Mint Mistletoes, the Emerald Elves, the Teal Turkeys, the Cerulean Candy Canes, the Sapphire Santas, the Purple Penguins, and the Pink Presents. If you've been in the MCC community long enough, you'll remember that in MCC 13, the Coral Carolers were the December replacement for the Orange Ocelots mascot, but this was immediately replaced with the Gingerbread Men in MCC 19. Also, you may remember that in MCC 13, the Teal Turkeys were originally the winter replacement for the Aquax Lottles mascot, but then the following December became the replacement for the Cyan Coyotes mascot. This meant that for MCC 19, a new aqua coloured mascot was introduced called the Cerulean Candy Canes, and the Cyan coloured mascot used in MCC 13, which were the Cyan Candy Canes, was dropped. Hopefully that makes sense. It's a confusing swap, but it all makes sense since the colour teal is closer in the colour spectrum to Cyan than Aqua. There are a couple of patterns you can find from these team mascots. First of all, Turbo is always on the Emerald Elves. Secondly, the Simmers, aka Critic Zeus, Vixella, James Turner, and Dr. Gluon are always together on the Sapphire Santas. And thirdly, the Teal Turkeys have come first as a team in both previous December events and won, albeit with different players in both cases. It remains to be seen if the Turkeys managed to hold their win streak for yet another winter event. It's worth looking back at past events that took place around this time in previous years. As I just referred to, there have been two in December so far, MCC 13 on December 12, 2020 and MCC 19 on December 11, 2021. Of course, both events were themed around the winter holidays, believe it or not. So we will get a massive cosmetic overhaul, including a makeover of the hub and for each game. There will be candy cane snowmen, Christmas trees with wrapped presents resting below them in the hub, and every game has got all the decor you'd associate with this time of year, such as stockings hanging on walls and lots of snow covering the ground. All maps will receive specific festive changes too. For example, Hole in the Wall will feature those yellow sparkly walls which make annoying jingle sounds with every move. And the Santa Sleigh map will most likely return for Battle Box, as it has done for the previous two winter events. Watch how Sapnap goes 9 for 9 for the third time on this map, assuming he's in this event. All these decorations are really clearly demonstrated in the MCC 19 update video from last year. I'll leave it down below in the description in case you want an early preview of what to expect. As that same update video also mentions, there's going to be a limited edition holiday event around the hub in the form of the present sharing mini game, which can be played between each event game. Essentially, players must collect as many presents as possible and hand them to the respective participant whose name is on that present. As an added incentive, if a present is shared, there's a chance you'll both receive power ups for the decision dome or just a useless piece of coal. Let's not forget that Dodgebolt will be renamed to Snowbolt, and as the name suggests, each player in the finale will get mittens, which are actually retextured bows, and instead of arrows, they'll be throwing snowballs, but which regular players won't be able to experience the magic of MCC one last time before its long break. A lot of players have confirmed they've signed up, such as Dream and Smallish Beans, which of course doesn't guarantee that they'll actually be placed into the event, but one particular player is definitely unable to make it, which is unfortunate considering they're one of only four participants to have played in every single canon MCC event ever. I'm referring to Wilbur Soot, who will be performing live with the rest of his band Lovejoy during MCC 28. Let me know if you've seen any other players confirm their absence too. Now there's probably a couple other small hints we've been given about what to expect from MCC 28, but I've talked through the most important ones here. Good job to Nox Crew for developing another great event, and to Scott's Major for organising the teams, which should be dropping this week as mentioned earlier. Well, I've been your host, I hope you found this video informative and enjoyable, and I'll catch you on the next MCC video. See ya!